Mandy's having a bit of low back pain. She was saying earlier that this general area was bothering her. Part of the way I work on low back pain is almost always to begin by addressing the gluteals. In this case, just by using this gentle, uh, soft fist right along the sacrum. The gluteals attach all along those fused vertebra above the tailbone. So the line of the sacrum goes down towards the tailbone on both sides. This centerpiece is the, the sacrum. And I'm working all these muscular attachments right along there. People often seem to have low back pain that I believe is coming from here because it's shifting the position of their sacrum as they walk, as they sit. And these small muscles can't compete with these large guys. If I soften the hips, soften the gluteals, low back pain tends to diminish or dissipate completely. Using this movement, you can see that I'm getting these vertebra to move side to side, back and forth. Using movement to try to relieve muscular tension and strain. Right there, some tension. I'm going to find a good spot, sink in, hang out. You can use the left hand to press along the paraspinal muscles while the right hand sinks in. change the angle a little jostle to feel my way through where's the tension right there I'm stacking my hand wrist arm in a way that feels comfortable so I can sink in always trying to diminish any strain in my own body I remember to breathe deeply a little jostle feeling my way around once I find another good spot big in breath and exhale as you breathe out. If I'm looking for a little extra oomph on the exhale, I have the receiver breathe out their mouth. It's a larger pipe, so in through the nose. And out the mouth. Right through there. The fist is a big, broad structure. There's not much strain on my arm or hand. Just sinking through. I'm gonna switch this time. Move into the lumbar paraspinals just to see what's going on with this little junction. Doesn't feel too bad. Not overly tight right there. I think Mandy just wants more pressure in the, the gluteals specifically. I'm going to lift one leg and see if I can deliver some forearm pressure. Elbow right along the sacrum. Just stacking my body comfortably. And if that's ever too much pressure, just let me know, Mandy. If you have to, you can give me a, a hand signal since I can't 
hear you quite as well since you're face down. You said what? A little much? Okay. If I back off to there, is that better? There we go. With my hands, I'm trying to stack them in a way that feels comfortable. I felt like I was holding some tension, so I'm trying to release that. I can even kind of shake my hands out. I'm not leaning in with any more pressure than I did previously, but I'm using a sharper tool, so it's a little less forgiving. Mandy was asking for a little less pressure, and all I did was shift my body weight to be able to back off just a bit. I'm going to slowly move up along the sacrum, applying some pressure with the forearm and elbow. Stacking my body in a way that feels comfortable, like it has integrity. After we finish up these compressions, we're gonna mobilize Mandy's hip to a slightly different position, see if it gives her any relief. We've worked our way up, but I get into this side portion where it's a little difficult because I have to push in. I'm gonna slightly change her leg position and see if I can resolve some of that. If I bring her to the side, even with the foot behind, it lifts this up so I can come in a little bit more to the side. You tell me, Mandy, pressure's good there? Okay. What it did is it, it externally rotated her femur and allowed me to get into this area, made it pop up a little bit towards me. So I can sink in right there. This still feels a little dense to me. I'm going to back off. I'm going to go back into our jostle, grabbing in there. Change the hip position slightly, just to soften this before I go in again with a forearm and an elbow. Pressure's still good? There. Now, if I hold, there we go. Now I can gently mobilize the femur, which is pulling on the greater trochanter, which is where these muscles attach that I'm pressing into. So I'm getting this little bit of pin and stretch, pin and mobilize. Which way feels better? One or two? One feels better. We're giving Mandy a bit of movement here. This has been a, a deep compression through this area. But I'm gonna, instead of just giving her this jostle, I'm actually gonna rotate her. And you prefer this over that, Mandy? Okay. She prefers this external rotation. Is that too far? This feels good? Okay. So I'm actually going to just hold her in that position, and then I'm going to slowly move just a little more lateral again. Right in there. When I roll her this way, it's creating a little bit more space. If I roll her back this way, it feels like it's closing the gap between the greater trochanter and that junction with the sacrum. Feels like I'm lengthening the muscle here, creating a bit more space. I always have to think about it anatomically and what it does. But in the end, I go with what the receiver feels more than anything else. I can roll her back this way. Very open quad, not a lot of tension there at all. Gonna let her leg fall open off the table. Get 
little jostle, a little more lateral. And again, same, feels better this way. Okay. If I bring her back and down, I wanna see what her mobility is. So I can lift her up. Seems fairly open. I roll her back to neutral, I'm gonna jostle again. This feels much more soft than when we started. See if I can traction her low back by pressing on either side, then along the sacrum. Tender in here, Mandy? Okay. She's got a little bit of tenderness right along the spine. I'm gonna again stack my body. How's it feel on your arm there? Good? Okay. This this low spot right here, these lumbar muscles will insert right down on the sacrum. There's this little sweet spot right in the small of the back that I'm gonna use an elbow in. Just need to position myself so I can sink in. Right in there. Too much, Mandy? Okay. I check in with her just because she's face down. She gave me a mm mm, so she's good. And as I sink in, I can reposition myself to any angle that I choose. And usually I'll just ask for feedback, but I think in her case, she actually wants a little bit of this direction. Feels good there, Mandy? Yeah. Just looking for tension patterns. It felt like I got more resistance when I went down this way. So comfortably, I'm sinking into that spot. I'm going where there's resistance but with calm, ease, grace, sinking in. My work tends to include a lot more what I just call compression. But the word compression doesn't have a lot of nuance. I'm not maximizing the amount of pressure always that she can take. I'm just making firm, supported contact with skin and then tractioning one direction or another. When I bring Mandy's awareness to an area, she can breathe, and that novel stimuli allows her nervous system to down-regulate. It means that her body stops telling those muscles to contract, particularly when they're contracting for no reason. It's just like a physical response that goes haywire. Little jostle back and forth, finding where the dense spot is. I moved a little further down, maybe even a bit more, right into there. I sink in again. This time I feel like I'm pressing a little more this way. Grab the lower leg. I can actually use the lower leg for a bit of resistance. Was that pressure too much, Mandy? Okay. So now I can begin to lift. It's grabbing rectus femoris, which is a hip flexor around the front of the quad. Lengthening a bit of psoas, and I'm pulling myself into her lumbar right along the spine, 
Ooh, she gave me a response there. How's that? Just tender? Yeah. So as I leaned in towards her spine, I could just feel she began to tense up. She got a little tension. Right into there, can change position. There we go. And again, I'm pulling my body weight into her. Gentle lift. Bringing her leg back to neutral. Feel my way around. See what the other side feels like. If I was on this side of the table and decided to do some gluteal work on the opposite side, I'd probably start with a fist again. In this case, since I can't just lean in, I'm just going to use this broad fist to shake the area out, to soften it since we did so much on this left side. I like moving around in session and creating more movement, more space for me to de be in a different position. Just working through the area. I'm going to reach around to the ACES, which is the anterior superior iliac spine. I can feel bone right there, and I'm going to lift. How does that feel, Mandy? Feels good? Does it feel good on this side? Camera, okay. So when I do this, this is just to mobilize. I'm going to do this from the same side of the table, but this is a really relaxed, easy, uh, comfortable version of this to be able to lift and pull her open. From the same side, I'm going to lift almost straight up. It's actually a little bit more effort this way. You get some tickle, Mandy? Yeah. So she got a little tickle. I'm gonna make this broad, as broad as I can. That'll be a little bit, yeah, there we go. And then I can lift. Does it feel better on this side? Yeah. And the lift. Give some length to the QL, all the musculature through there. And again, right at the front of the hip, you'll feel this bony structure knob there. It's a good handle. And if I reach over again, I can isolate and lengthen. Isolate and lengthen. And I'll try the same from this side again. It's a little different. I'm trying not to be too sharp with the fingers. And then flat thumb so I can jostle back and forth reinforced to give her some mobility on the opposite side since I'm over here just a little lift if I can grab around the knee it gives me a little more leverage she doesn't feel nearly as tight in the lumbar spine here as she did on this side. I'm giving her just a little to balance out. Small lift. And again back into lumbar spine. Now I'm gonna be on top of the sacrum. How does that feel, Mandy? 
Yeah. It, it feels to me like her sacrum is pulled up and in, like she needs to traction a bit. We've opened up some of this, so I'm going to find a good spot. She was complaining about this general area. I'm going to put my palm over and then put the other hand on top. How's that pressure there? Yeah. Now, if I begin the traction skin down towards the feet, how does that feel? Is that better than this way? And better than maybe one or two? Which of those do you prefer? One. So what about that direction? Okay. Is that the one you prefer of all of those? Yeah. And I'm gonna, to give myself some leverage, gonna bring one knee up. And again, hand is over that area. I was asking her for feedback. In addition to guiding the sacrum over to that side, I'm grabbing the skin over the sacrum and traction. Remember how we talked about connection with nerves? She gave me a good breath right there. Giving me some good traction right along the sacrum there. If you're concerned about your finger placement, you can always just switch your hand in a way that feels better to you. You can stack your body in a way that feels like it has integrity so you can lean in. And then right along the sacrum, just want to feel right through there. How's that, Mandy? Yeah, right there. Okay. She feels a little tenderness right there. I'm gonna come up again, just so I can mark my spot. Right with elbow. Now I'm, I'm bringing my shoulder forward so I can lean back and in that same sort of traction. Feel like the good spot, Mandy? Did you laugh or agree? Both. You laugh at my body work? Or is it just that I leaned into a dense muscle? Yeah. Lots and lots of practice. Sometimes it's just a good guess, but after years and years, you figure out certain patterns. That was why I thought she needed more traction, that more pull down. When, when people sit all day, it compresses. So when I'm grabbing skin, it's like trying to traction and pull that apart structurally. Right in there. She gave me a big breath, and that's probably because I sunk right into a good spot. She could feel it as tender. She was trying to breathe through that pressure. And we slowly, yeah, I just let that unwind. Back off. Give her some more mobilization. Moving around. Right back where we started. Right into the gluteals. Good pressure there. If you're working with someone who is completely nude, you can just do this over the sheet so you didn't have to undrape the gluteals. I would just work through the sheet. It just worked well for our video for Mandy to have shorts on so you could see more clearly what structures I was working. All of this movement here, getting the sacrum to move, to pan back and forth, around and around. I think we opened that up well for today. And thank you for working with me, Mandy. You're welcome. I hope that feels better. I'm Robert Gardner. It was a pleasure working with you today, demonstrating some low back techniques. You can find my website at robertgardnerwellness.com where I've got a free Thai massage workbook. 
please subscribe to our channel. We'd love to have you on board so we can show you and give you more content. And please comment down below if you have any questions for us. Thank you so much for viewing our channel today.